light line on here. Oh, my other line's still out too. Oi, we, oi, oi, this line's out still. Have we got the same fish, bro? Hold on, hold on. Very low. Me too. I've still got this. I'm getting really low, man. Me too. Alrighty, guys, good evening. Welcome back. Tonight, I'm gonna cook the Spanish mackerel that Jeff caught. I'm just gonna turn on some lights, mate. And yeah, I'm gonna make my favorite, favorite meal of all time, Spanish mackerel tacos. Jadson! Hey? Is it a Mac? What, are you sure? Spanish. Do we need the net? Yeah. Don't have a gap. Can I? Bullshit. Yeah. Jetson! Is it a Spano? Yeah. 100% you reckon? Yeah. Oh no. Jetson! Woo! Woo she might be. Longy. Is it a tuna? I hope it's not a big Mac. You are right? Yeah. Good fish, bro. Hey? Oh, it's deep, no. Nah. It's done, no. Yeah. What pound later you got? 40. Yes, Jepson. Yes, Jepson. Oh. Woo! <laughs> the boys! Yeah, bruh. I've never been so stoked to oh. see a Spano. Oh. Yeah, well done. The rest of the ocean's on. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I'll get a photo of you holding him. Good photo. Well done, Russ. On the spin? Hey? Got limey down. No, not on the limey. Hey? <laughs> if you can, sit up there. The boys are on! <laughs> Jepson, Spano, in the zone for one minute. First cast. What is that little lure? Uh, it's uh, Samaki, I think. Sick, Russ. Alrighty boys, that's dinner, eh? That's dinner. That's what we came for. Any Spanish will do. First drift. Jepson! First cast. You beauty. Livey's not getting touched. This is a two-shul. We're out here getting food. Fully. Woolies is out of stock of Spanos. <laughs> so we are out here. Oh, Brooksy, snip. Snip, snip. Snippity doo -dah. Maybe we should just keep plugging away here for a bit. Oh, drop, see that guy, huh? Oh, snippity. Snippity, eh? I'm the king of getting snip rocked Spanish, man. Snippity dude, uh, the Chinese snipper. That's what I got to be, man. Really, eh? On the board, is it like, dunk? How good is it when you got no small splits left or anything? Like you've only got like big splits. Really annoying. No, I just recycled some old ones. Oh, Raymond over there, flying Raymond. Nah, fight straight towards the Q1, big flying Raymond. Me too. Why not? You have the rod. <laughs> Do we, we just get sharked by the same fish? Where's your line? Right Where's it? Oh, it's just here. 
multitasking. Are you straight down? No, I'm out here. Where are you? Boys are on! I'm on my... Oh, I'm nearly getting fooled, man. I need you to go forward. I can see the bottom of my spool. Keep going. Keep going. I wasn't even looking. Yeah, I'll do. Holy shit, dude. I could see the bottom of my spool, man. Yeah, I'm all, oh, yeah, I'm all right for the minute. At least we don't have the same thing. Not. Well, yours is back there. I'm up here. On the swizzle, the snipe, barra, yeah. huh? No, I've got no wire. What have you got? <laughs> that was such chaos. We had five rods out. Three liveys, two lures. <laughs> Full pack attack of something. Are you thinking Mac Tuna? Nah. What are you thinking? What is it? Cobe. Dude, I, I'm not kidding you. I have like probably... Big tuna. I, I had probably like, I don't even know, maybe like 10 wraps of line left. Really? Yeah. And I got red tape underneath, like on my spool. Could I could fully see it. That was nearly a triple. Oh, that would have been chaos. At least that one has heaps of line. Oh. Mac tuna. Big ones too. How's the run on it? Big Mac. Too big to swim. Yeah. That's a proper doozy of a Mac Tuna. That's a monster. <laughs> That's a long tail size Mac Tuna. Yeah, I think I got the same. I can feel the beat. I'd like it if I had a longie, not a Mac Tuna. Not a it's not definitely not a Spano. Little tuna tail beats. The Jew rig. Jury done it. My arm's getting sore. For a second, I thought we were hooked up like proper fish, like. And then when you were like cobs, I was going, oh my god, imagine if we just got pack attacked by like, cobs. I'm, I'm hooked up. Possible world record here. Dead set. Big spanner. Is it a spanner or a shark? Spanner. There he is. Not bad. Definitely not little. Not the right species, but look at that hook, man. It just perfectly got him. Wrong kind. That was wild. Fun, but I've never nearly been spooled by a Mac Tuna before. Jem's at work. She's on her way home, so I'm gonna get myself in the good books because I've been a little bit in the doghouse lately, possibly from playing too much cod. First of all, red cabbage. I'm gonna slice this up super, super thin. And then I'm gonna add, it, add a heap of lime juice to it and some salt and it like, um, I don't even know the word what you'd say that it does it um it's the word i don't know what the word is my good mate benny glass is a chef and this is the way he does it so i'm gonna follow suit like that see that 
I've got also some corn I'm gonna whack in there. Avo, coriander, and the secret ingredient is, uh, it's not that secret really, just sour cream and chipotle sauce mixed together. Really bloody good. You would have seen this before. I've done it before. It's my favorite thing ever. If this camera ever focuses, there's our cabbage there. I'm gonna get some limes. Get them happening in a bowl. I didn't get a bigger bowl, eh? Why not? Where's the bigger bowl? Is there a bigger bowl? There we go. Cabbage in. Pretty hard here filming by yourself when you're trying to cook, but um, we'll make it work somehow. I like to adopt the method of Clean as you, clean as you go. Clean as you go, so you don't have to go and clean. That's my theory. Limes look a little bit doggers, but they'll be right. Limes in, really juicy limes. Gets a lot vinegary and kind of pickles it a little bit. It's really good. A bit of salt, heaps of salt. Maybe we'll get another half a lime in there. Just for good measure. If you don't know this, my Instagram name is Froth Cafe 2. And it comes from when I used to live in England. We used to have a cafe called the Froth Cafe, so we used to have to bake cakes every day. Which was kind of fun for a little bit, but England's not that fun. Wet, cold. Next we got the fish. Uh, We've cleaned it up, I'll grab it out, hold on. Look at that. Lovely big chunks. So, one of the big things on YouTube, I guess, that I always see if I catch a Spanish mackerel, there's American guys start blowing up and say, it's not a Spanish mackerel, you idiot. And in America, you would call the same fish a uh, king mackerel, I'm pretty sure. So, we call it a Spanish mackerel. In Australia, they have the more pronounced bars down the side, as you would have seen in the um, fish earlier that Jeppo caught. But it's pretty much the same fish, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we call it a Spanish, you guys call it a king mackerel. That's it. All right, Gem's about an hour away, so. Dinner's a little bit delayed. The other night, I was gonna feed Anthony in the white and catch and cook. Didn't do it, so I'm gonna do it now. I'm trying not to feed him too much. Haven't fed him for a couple of days now, so I'm just defrosting a herring that I cast netted the other week, and he's really angry. He knows it's coming. It's kind of annoying, because you can't even get it in properly. Like, he tries to eat it before it even goes in. But we'll try and film it good. It's really hard to film and do it at the same time, because you're like trying to get the, like it, yeah. So. See if I can get him to book the glass. Right. See, I can't get it in because he's trying to jump out already. His mouth's already out of the water. Okay. Oh! God! He's so ferocious, man. Look at him. <laughs> He's looking really healthy. His tail's all healed up. If I look, here, he wants he'd bite my finger straight away if I let him, but I don't really want him to do that. The only thing you can see in the water floating now is those herring scales. That's really annoying. Um, so I'm gonna suck them out tomorrow, and you can see over here that there is poo so i get the hose and i like siphon the poo out but other than that the tank's looking really, really good sticks looking good it's got all this moss growing on it which apparently will stop over time but she's finally sunk and he's very skitsy look look look, look. oh my god anthony i'm gonna crack on I'm gonna put some eggs in a bowl, mate. Anthony just had a cockroach, by the way. And then, what's up, these? Panko breadcrumbs. 
But basically all I'm doing, I'm dipping the fish in the egg, coat it, and then the panko sticks to the egg, mate. I think that's how you do it, I'm not totally sure, but looks pretty legit. Look at that. That's what, what it's gonna look like before cooking, then we're gonna heat up the pan, oil in there, corn's gonna get sliced up, and then fried as well, so it's nice and crispy. And then we're pretty much good to go. It's all happening. Oil's in the pan, hot. Fish ready, let's go. Okay, it's actually not that hot. I'll wait a little bit. All right, they're in. Just gonna let them get happening. It's still not quite hot enough, but it'll do. All right, it's now three days later from the last little bit of footage you saw. Jem got home from work. Jem works in a pharmacy. She's also studying to be a pharmacist. And with all the stuff that's going on, it's getting really hectic for people in that line of work. Anywhere in the health system, I think, is getting really hectic. Um, the pharmacy that she works in has been super busy and people have been losing their minds. So, Jem got home from work. She was pretty upset and rattled because people have been rude to her. It was crazy and the stress of everything. Obviously, it's pretty full on, so I cut filming there. We had our dinner and it was bloody great. I wish I could have shown you, but that's just something that's happening at the moment and shit isn't, doesn't go to plan always and it doesn't matter who you are or where you are, it will affect you in some way and that's pretty bloody full on. I've noticed people around here, like, you go to the shop, people are freaking out, they're being rude idiots to other people for no reason whether it's the staff at Woolies, people other people shopping people in the street and i encourage everyone that watches this to chill the fuck out because there's no point in being a dickhead to other people at the moment it's just keep a cool head be normal be nice to people avoid people obviously and she'll all be right what's being a wanker go gonna do like it's pretty um it's interesting but yeah that's it sorry we couldn't show you but that's just the reality of it and that's the realness of what is happening everywhere in the world it's not just us here it's everywhere so yeah um yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed my cooking prowess definitely needs some work but uh we'll get there mate um it's a little bit windy this week but i'm planning to go fishing again soon and yeah hopefully wednesday new fish going in there hopefully so we'll see how we go thanks for watching guys stay safe catch you soon